Hello everyone, it's Kay Michelle with Lady Dragonfly Designs. I'm so happy you stopped by my channel. And if you're returning, thank you. Um, happy Mojo Monday. Uh, it is kind of a mojo. Y'all should see my desk. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, well, I cleaned my desk and I went through my inbox. And yeah, yeah. That's all from junk mail and return envelopes, everything. Okay. I thought, and I know I'm sure other people have done it. This just popped my head. Um, it, I am recording on Sunday. Scott just left for the week and, you know, get a little down saying goodbye and all this. And um, he's been doing, we've been doing this for nine months. And so, you know, it's kind of getting a little old. So, anywho, I thought we would play with envelopes today. Do you have junk mail like that or envelopes? like that. Well, <clears throat> I'm sure we all do. So I gotta take my shoes off and get my feet comfortable. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so what we do, okay, you have a stack of envelopes. You've gone through everything, thrown everything, or done what you needed to to the mail. And now you have this big old stack, which said make a journal cover. And you're left with this stack of envelopes, okay? All right. First thing I do is if it has been sent to me and it's been sealed, I cut the side. That's how I open up an envelope. That is not how Scott opens up an envelope. He just, oh, man, just, they just, you know. This one is like that, so I'm going to put that over in this stack. And what I have over here is like the return envelopes that haven't been used yet. Cause there's two things we're going to do. Okay. So, um, not sealed, sealed. Well, get your best little tool in the craft room. Okay. All right. So not sealed, sealed, not sealed, sealed. Business reply. Well, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, poor Scott. He has just had a weekend and a half with that stupid lawnmower. I'm telling you, if I thought going and getting a lotto ticket would give us some money, I'd do it in a heartbeat just so that man could get a new mower. Yeah, it's, uh, he was so depressed on Saturday. Oops something here. Oh, look. Score. Okay. Um, but, oh my gosh, he was so depressed and bummed out that nothing was working. And it was just like, oh. So, I just stayed in here and craft and checked on him every little once in a while. And he's just sitting there watching his phone. <laughs> Bless him. That one's open. That one's open. Alright, I think that uh, let me go ahead and separate them real quick. It's fast. But yeah, I'll just separate the ones that are sealed and the ones that are not sealed. And two piles. And I love these big windows. I got an idea for those too. Okay. All right. Let's see, which one should we start with first? I guess this one. Okay, so here's all my junk now, so we'll put that over there. All right, so I was thinking of, um, oh, where's the journal I'm working on? This journal, oh snap, oh snap, is that right? Y'all, I have been messing with this journal. It's kind of a flip-flop journal, but not really. But what I did is I took the envelopes and made them the signatures because as you saw, I had a very huge stack of envelopes. Okay. And then here's another way. There's a nice, oh, oh a pocket. We could glue that. Oh, and hide the seam. Oh, that'd be cool. All right. So this goes 
one signature, two signature, and then it closes and flip flops, and another signature, and another signature. So it took, yeah. This the way it got. Oh, I'm so confused, y'all. Yes, you open it up this way, that way. Okay. Oh, com I, I, this this been my confusion. That that make anybody lose their mojo. I'm just saying. All right. So, but what I did was just uh, made signatures out of envelopes. Totally mindless thinking. Uh, so if you've lost your mojo and you come to the craft room and you just want something just really, I mean, you, you don't have any color in mind, you don't have any images, you just blah, or you don't uh, feel good, uh, like um, y'all cleaning my health, uh-uh, uh-uh. My left knee, I couldn't, I could barely walk on my left knee. Then my right side of my jaw down in the bottom started hurting uh, where uh, I've had a tooth come out, but some of it's still in there. And um, unfortunately, the only way it's going to come out is by a uh, oral surgeon. Not looking forward to that, but um, so putting it off as much as I can. So all I did was I just slit, slipped the tab to the envelope into the other envelope, okay? I've been doing this. I think I cut this down. I'm almost out of glue. All right, so lift this up. And all I've been doing is just making real long, uh, you know, passes with the glue. Oh, just be really careful because it sticks. Okay, there we go. Some of them, oof, I thought I messed up, but I was able to fix it. And you can do this with the glue stick. I just... I needed my little friend here. So I just sit here, just, and you got a signature with two side pockets if you want it, okay? <clears throat> okay, let's do another one. Um, yeah, let's do fine. And I also did some to where the envelopes, uh, maybe one was just a tad longer than the others. So that was pretty cool. I'm gonna do it this way because it is easier when you have a strip to glue down on the inside than that big old kind of triangle looking. And you just put it in there. Okay. And then make sure you have the fold, okay. All right, put your hands down, flap out, thumb, and then a strip of glue. I should really, really be using Eileen's. We all know that. But I'm not. Okay, see, it came up a little bit to where, but it is okay. It still folds. They're, and, and they're not made to uh, be perfect. These are, it's just recycling. Oh, and one of them, it was so cute. I was like, well, I am. Um, it said uh, inside the window, please recycle this envelope. And I'm like, I am. So see, we were recycling all at the same time. Y'all, I don't, we have oak trees that have the uh, little fuzzy wuzzy thingies. And I don't know if you can see that, but they, they pop up, pop off these little, and oh my gosh, I've been sitting outside with Scott. Ugh, he loves to sit outside, that's fine. Uh, but whoo, those little things all in my hair. And then I sit out, but the first June bug comes out. I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. I ain't playing. So, so nothing exciting at all around here. Except for, uh, today he did get the lawnmower. Oh, it was so crazy. I'm texting, uh, Misty Dawn. Oh, the lawnmower broke. And she's like, oh, no. Oh, now the lawnmower's fixed. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know where all this stuff's coming from, y'all. It's coming from the trees, but that's all about, all about I know. And uh, 
So then I tell her, oh, it's working again. Okay, now it's not. And I, I, I promised, I texted her like four times that it, it was working, it wasn't working. It's working, it's not working. Oh, now it's working. So, yeah, crazy. All right, and for uh, the flip, semi-flip-flop journal that I made, um, I just uh, put them in together. I made four uh, a four-page signature, okay? But, you know, that's, y'all see it? Okay, that's small enough uh, to bulk up if you want or however you want to if you're going to make like a five-signature uh, flip-flop journal. So, easy peasy. It, it, you're trying to get your mojo back. That That's a good little exercise because, well, at least for me when I was doing it, oh my gosh, um, I was sitting there and it's like, uh, what, I got one of the ones that had the big window. Well, of course, all these don't. And um, so you can even turn it around, flip it over, have it here. You could put a picture there. And, and by just putting the envelopes together, you're doing something uh, that doesn't require much thought but it kind of jump starts your creative thought in like, ooh, I could put that there. Ooh, a flower would look cool there. And it and it just starts it starts pumping your mojo back up, you know? Okay. All right, so that is the envelopes that are not sealed. Okay. So here, oh, see, there's one. Got wet. Okay, so I always cut here so I always have to face it here and I just uh, try not to cut it like that oh pasha. or you can cheat just cut a sliver off if you don't have a knife or a letter opener or anything if this comes off that's fine Okay, now let me try cutting it. And the reason it's fine that, that uh, the flap came off, I'll show you, okay? All right, so it's pretty flimsy, right? Okay, now, and I like that because of the big uh, window there. You don't really belong here, do you? No, you don't over there. Oh, y'all. Y'all gotta tell me switch stacks here. Okay. Alright, so another one. Okay. So, here's that. Okay. Now just cut them all the way open. Okay. Now here, um, when I did mine, I'm sorry, bum y'all. Um, I just stacked them like that and they were four pages and I had to cut mine down because of the flip-flop journal part of it. Um, but if you want to, you can always double it over. Oh, I got a flat pot at me. Um, or, you know, you can make it double, anything, you know, but all you're doing is just tear, you're just doing that basic, uh, not, th oh, this fly, uh, not thinking about it. And so you could be sitting here, you know, watching a good horror movie, you know, if y'all been with me for a while, you know how much I love my horror movies. I'm watching The Curse of the Demon with Dana Andrews, and I think it's, Oh, when was this made? Doesn't say, but like, oh, uh, oh, uh, like in the 1950s, you know, and uh, in England, and it's black and white. So, you know, I can sit here and just watch my horror movie and just make a stack. I pretty much know how I always try to cut on this side, on the edge, when I open my mail, I'm like, I'm going to say men because Scott and Todd both do it. Oh, they just rip. It's like, Todd, I thought I had them trained. Okay. 
All right. So that that's pretty cool. Um, I would probably cover this up, and you can switch them around uh, like that. Uh, you, if you watch Leslie at 507 Willow House Journals, uh, she'll take this and make a flip-flop right out of this envelope. You can do it. Um, but I was, uh, that's why I wanted to show you how crazy it is. I love flip-flop journals. I am so addicted, but I have, Heather wanted me to count how many journals I had. And I'm like, oh no, we're not. No, we are not. I got bukus. And, um, like this one, I think was really my first attempt on making a flip-flop journal. And because, you know, here's this, and I wanted it to fold out, and here it folds out and closes, and then it's supposed to flip-flop and then do it, and it doesn't, yeah. So it's kind of a flip-flop journal. Oh, see, and I folded it wrong again. Pusha. No. Y'all, oh, it's this way. <laughs> it's crazy, but I like it. I like it. I like that. So, you know, it's doable. And another thing you can do, did I just say? I'm going to turn it this way. And you can make a, a, a flip-flop journal that way. Okay, I'm going to do it this way, y'all. I'm confusing myself. And again, I just did uh, four envelopes. And it's okay if they're staggered, you know. But look, you got instant, you know. I probably cut that, trim that off. But, I mean, you just put paper over it, you know. Do whatever if you want to. If you got two little things, uh, two different kinds of flowers or anything, um, so see, you got p perfect pages, base pages, and I would probably uh, make this the middle page. And number one, it would hide the binding. Number two, I think I would glue right here and make a pocket and then make an insert for a picture right here or maybe a top loading. So like glue it here, have a side tuck and a, a down tuck. Thing. All right, let's see. Oh, what do I want to do? That's that was my mojo issue. Let's see what else we can do. How about let's look through some journals? Okay, I just pulled this out of my basket, which I've got desperately clean because. Mm -mm. All right, so this is just a. It's a two signature. Okay. Could actually be a third. Uh, I could put one here, you know, and then it could lay like this. Y'all have, mm -mm, there's signature right there. I hadn't even put it in yet. Oh, this, I was watching Leslie, how she makes that hidden pocket. And I need to glue it because I feel the tab there. So there's that signature. And then we open it up here. And then there's that signature. That's huge. I don't want to buy it. I've already, um, oh, where's that one? Oh, here, I want to show y'all this one I worked on, I'm very proud of. Oh, so for the glue right there, but. This, and it's, it was weird. This book, this is not how big the spine was. Um, it was weird after I put um, the lace or burlap lace on it, it, it went to the width of what the uh, lace was. But I thought I was just being really smart because I was gonna put this down and then sew it. So what I did, let me tell you how I did that. Oh, I'm upside down. Um, I hot glued, I started right here and I laid uh, the ribbon down with hot glue. And, I'd already, and I didn't hot glue this yet, so I already had my holes. So I made the holes again, and I bound it with this piece not attached yet, adhered. And then after I bound it, I, I went and did it again to here. And it wrapped perfectly, y'all. 
I'm so proud. Not too shabby. And I was trying to get rid of, y'all, it's mountain. It is such a mountain. Nope. Can't find it. But it was the maps and text uh, paper. And these were the last pieces I had were these kind of maps. And so I w I've been stuck on traveling. Um, Lord, y'all, I couldn't find. Okay, I actually found it. Oh, I found the other one too. Amazing. I was just playing. This was one of the journals, just like this one over there. It had been bound. And, but it had fun paper in it. So I've stuck all these little fun, bright travel things and just put them in here and I'm gonna put them, you know, this is a scholastic newsletter that uh, the kids used to get in school. Uh, my pattern paper, book pages, you know. Oh, I think I see some <gasps> mixed media that I did. Oh, I love that texture. And so that's, and I just played. I've had these stickers forever, and I was trying to get rid of stickers. And then I found this one, and it already said World Traveler. Oh, dear, I messed up. But, and I've had these uh, stickers. Let me show you. That one. This one, it's pictures of uh, Paris some of the statues and stuff. And I like the old timey maps. And so I had these stickers for ages, ages. And finally, I have not glued them in because I didn't know if that's where I, where I wanted them. I was just kind of playing. But this has turned out to be a cute little journal. And this was border and it had, um, they're stuck here. It was border and so these and that was the top and bottom of the sticker page. And I thought that was pretty cool. So, yes, that's what I've been doing this weekend. And let's see. There's this sweet darling. Oh, the kitty cat. So, yep. Oh, a pocket. How cool. So yeah, I am just going to uh, work on, do you really want to? I think it is really glued. Oh, the um, paint swatches. That's another good thing, paint swatches uh, when you've lost your mojo. And collaging. And see, and that was that uh, pattern paper I got, one of those Hobby Lobby packets. Cute, just not my cup of tea. Oh, man, I made a lot of pockets here. And what I'm finding out is uh, when I am going... Uh-oh, hold on. Okay, it is now Monday morning, and the last 24 hours has just been crazy. Um, but sorry for the abruption stop to the video. So I'm adding this to just let you know, this is Monday's video. Um, it got really crazy right in the middle of it and I'll explain it all on Wednesday. Okay. Until my next video. I love y'all. Thank you. Bye.